Hey YouTubers, coming coming from you from uh, South Carolina. I just want to show you this uh, Pelican Bass Raider about uh, 2018. Just show you some of the modifications I did. Uh, picked up the Pelican Bass Raider for about 500 bucks. Trailer was about 600 bucks. Both bought it at Academy. Uh, let's start from the front. Some of the modifications that I did. Uh, you can see I put some reflective tape on the uh, trailer uh, on the front. Uh, it didn't have any hooks to uh, to winch up the boat, so I just kind of made my own little string. I put a wooden block in between the trailer motor and uh, put a little string in. I got a hook to uh, ratchet my uh, boat to retrieve it, and uh, had no problems. Uh, the front here, I got probably on all four corners or all three corners. Uh, I have these uh, strings. Uh, if I find a good crappie spot where they bite, all I got to do is throw this over a tree branch and I'm good to go. Uh, however, I do have an anchor. Um, you can see here up front, I got a little deck. Um, I made um, half inch plywood and some scrap two by four and some carpet. Above this carpet, it uh, completed the whole boat from the flooring to the decking. Bought this from Lowe's, paid about 20 bucks for a whole row uh, and it did the whole boat and a uh, sheet of plywood cost about 20 bucks so uh, spray glue to glue the carpet I might have spent about 60 something bucks uh, but it's well worth it uh, I secure these uh, the front deck with uh, velcro straps and uh, it secures this thing in place when, uh, when hauling I have one right here too um, have my uh, my mount for my uh, fish finder, uh, it's a Garmin, uh, this is a 30 pound thrust, um, and uh, you, a little bit of storage back here, and it's my seat with my pad, uh, I got a velcro strap to uh, velcro it while in tow so I don't lose my seat, have my little milk crate with my fire extinguisher and knife and all the accessories that I need. Uh, and, uh, you know, my uh, chair also slides back and forth. And if I need to slide it further, I just move my, my trailer motor and it slides underneath the, uh, my decking. Uh, have the, the uh, my paddle mount. Uh, found this on, i seen it on YouTube. Everybody had some. Uh, it secures it, but just for extra security, I put a Velcro strap. Um, put a screw in there and uh, pretty much caulked it so you know water prevent water from intrusion and uh, this thing works wonders and you can see I have a, a, my anchor system um, all I got to do is just release this and wherever I want to stop the lock in place it's a little five pound anchor um, here I have it's an extra seat or can be used for standing, you know. Um, you see it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, but there's just something extra that I had. Uh, my son doesn't want to sit in the seat that's high. He can sit on there. And I have this mount. What I usually do is uh, when I'm driving my motor, I'll sit on it and uh, drive it. And whenever I'm finished, I'll put this bad boy in the middle. Um, so when I'm fishing up front and I want to fish high, I can stand. Uh, I wanted something that wasn't um, anchored to my boat. This slides. Everything, this slides too. So, and it's secured. And I put two fish holders, uh, two fish uh, holders to it. Got my net. Got my jigging pole. And uh, you can see. Also, the uh, the the lights on this trailer from Academy are trash. Go ahead and once you get this, if you're gonna get one, just get you LED lights. Pay 30, 40 bucks for it. Uh, but the um, original ones that came with it, trash. I had problems with light. Thought it was my truck shortening in the wiring. It was just a pain in the butt. But just get you LED and it works. Um, Here's my two-bank uh, battery charger, and uh, pretty much both chargers. My um, Death Finder runs on a 10-volt battery. You can see 
uh, uh, store underneath there. And um, every time I come back from fishing, um, put it on the battery charger. Once it's finished charging, it's good for the next fishing spot. And you can see I got these strings here. Like I said, if I find a good fishing spot and it's on this side, I can just throw that string around a tree and I'm good. It's a lot quicker than anchoring. Um, but it helps me to do that quicker and then I can anchor later. Uh, here's my little Hankai 2.5. Um, it, it, you look at the reviews, most people complain about it. I love it. I paid like 280 bucks online at Walmart. Can't beat this thing, man. Um, people complain about it. Some of them like it. Uh, I have no problems with it so far. Uh, the only the issues that they had with this thing is uh, you can see the choke off and on. It's the opposite. So when you first start it, you give this bad boy 10 pumps for the gas. You put it on off and you pull it. Start it up. Once it cranks up, switch that bad boy from off to on and you're good to go. Never had a problem. Um, and your lower unit all. It's, um, when you first get it, check it. Some people said there's no oil in it. Mine had oil. So, uh, you know, but I had no problems with this thing. This thing is awesome. Uh, I said it was 2.5, it was a 3.5, sorry. Um, and uh, there's no reverse on this. The only thing, this is pretty cool. It, uh, this handle goes 360. So you just swing this handle around to the other side and you're going in reverse. And uh, like I said, you give it some gas with the handle, you're good to go. Um, you can see I got the string here. You see my fishing poles. Um, that's what this is meant for. I, I, I had some fishing straps I took off. Um, you can probably see the holes. Well, I took it off and I, I put some caulking, rubber caulking. But uh, the reel is supposed to fit in here on both sides um, and then when you ratchet this to your boat this these reels these rod reels are not coming out and uh, what I did is I have this little hook right here and I take a bungee cord from this end to the other end and your rods are not coming out at all but uh, this is my boat um, can't complain about uh, now these let me see these right here then come with a boat. I bought that extra from uh, Academy, these handles. Um, but I bought that extra. And uh, I'm glad I did because pretty much it's a guide for you to get you, your boat back on the trailer. Um, but I have no problems with this thing. You see the front of it again. But, uh, yeah, you can adjust your boat how you want. Uh, paid for everything, everything, trailer motor, depth finder, the wood, the modifications, the trailer, the, the motor, probably about $1,500. Uh, when, I, when I was looking at everything, just a, a regular John boat will cost about $800, bucks, just the John boat. That's not including any electronics or anything else that you put in there. So this is well worth it. Um, Bought it from Academy, the trailer and the, the boat. Uh, I had a um, Ranger boat in Louisiana and I sold it before moving to here in South Carolina. And uh, I wish I would have known about this boat before I bought my Ranger. Uh, for the fishing I do, I, I fish in small lakes and ponds um, and uh, some big ponds too, but it gets me across the lake, this little two point 3.5, um, but uh, yeah, this, this thing, I look at it this way. Most people's like, when you gotta get a real boat? I tell them, I catch more fish than you, and you have a $20,000 boat, and I just paid $1,500 for this whole rig. So, uh, it's, it's, it's not the boat that you have, this, this is awesome towing. You don't need a trailer. You can put it in. A, if it's in the back of your truck, I have a Chevy Colorado. Uh, if it's in the back, you can strap it in. Uh, the only reason I got a trailer is uh, when I go by myself, I just want to back it in. 
If you got two people going with you, you really don't need a trailer. You can both put it in. But, uh, and I, I just, th this thing is, is awesome, to be honest with you. Um, you can stand on the edge. I'll stand on the edge, and this thing ain't going to flip because it's got pontoon. You can see. Um, you know, I was looking at that other boat with the uh, foot controls, uh, twin trailer or whatnot. The thing costs like five grand. And, uh, you know, this thing is a lot better. So uh, just look at the reviews. And I uh, just wanted to show these modifications. And I'm, I'm constantly updating this thing. And uh, I just wanted to make it, you know, it's kind of like when you buy a house. You want to make it a home. Make it a home by improving things. And, and that's what I want to do with this boat. So hopefully it comes out. Uh, look at the reviews. And uh, hopefully it helps you out. If you have any questions, just... Uh, just uh, subscribe to this channel. Talk to you later. Good luck.